just found a penny on the pavement. Heads up, lucky. We'll see if the bins are gonna be lucky today. Back to the bins, my friends. Back to the bins. This bin had some interesting things. Those were vintage, I don't know what it was, but it was in rough shape. Peep. Good news, Peep. The Peep Factor actually making, back in production, making Peeps. This is from Disney World, and they are a lot of money there. I think they're like $25 or $30, but it was broken. Now, as I was editing this, I thought, oh my, Renee, you totally for missed that red chimney brick paper in the back. That is perfect for Christmas. It's vintage. It's like a heavy duty. I was even touching it. And I didn't, I didn't realize, but anyway, I missed it. That's like a heavy duty, not cardboardish paper, but great for Christmas. And I'm just tossing it. Oh my goodness. See, ugh. anyway, save the day with this. Are there photos? Yes, there are. I was so excited to find this in the bins. Now there were only two pages, I believe, that had maybe three or just two pages, two or three pages that had photos. But there were a grouping of photos in the back. So I swooped those up. This bin was filled with ephemera. Filled with paper. A lot of sheet music, which it wasn't my taste because the, there weren't any really nice uh, cover illustrations. So I passed on those. This was some kind of report that uh, was written up. I think kind of like a school report. I left that there as well. But just filled. It was great. And this wasn't a new bin, this had been out, so I was fortunate enough that this didn't catch the eye of anyone else. And I was able to come in and find some great things. Again, you have a lot of sheet music. This was nice, it was a magazine that I did, I did pick up. I like the cover. And look, oh what is this? Oh my lucky day again, it is a scrapbook. This had a mishmash of paper, so instead of wasting time digging through it, I just put it right in my bag. Speaking of bags, got to move this trash bag because underneath it, we have, folks, another scrapbook. This had some old newspapers and, again, just right in my bag. This bin, loved it. Eagles, Hotel California. Tape was in there. It's the right tape, the right cassette tape, so that went in my bag. I love the Eagles. Don Henley, love him. There were a bunch of other cassettes here. We have good old Michael Jackson, correct tape. That went in my bag. I think uh, there was Sticks, The Cars, Fleetwood Mac, how funny. This is their Rumors album, so I took that one for myself as well. Cassette tapes, it's, you know, I don't know if they're going to make a comeback. They're fun. Um, if you still have a cassette tape player, which I do, but, you know, they're not, it's not like vinyl. Vinyl has made a huge comeback. Big collectors of vinyl. I'm not sure if they're ever going to be collectors of cassette tapes. So there are some genres that do have their following. And would you look at this? If I told you it was my lucky day again, would you believe me? So we have some postcards. This is the book bin. And it looks like the remnants of a scrapbook. So I couldn't find the... The cover so I'm assuming maybe someone else picked it up and you know they took what they wanted out of it or this is how it arrived but you know this this wasn't out of goodwill this isn't a goodwill leftover this is a what I call a straight donation right from the donation box or donation pallet into the store and I was so happy so I'm just trying to assemble all the pages we have um, some brochures some postcards just some typed up paper some programs it looks like this had some bits of newspaper in it so I just added that to my pile we have an award you know who who knows there's even another old photo of a school more programs so this is something I definitely if I would have stumbled upon it at the flea market I would have I would have probably have purchased it and I couldn't let it couldn't let it there at the bins so I finally found some ephemera that I love at the bins and that would be a personal photos 
and a scrapbook. I do come across scrapbooks and photo albums quite often, but they are either emptied or brand new, never have been used. I've never come across any that are actually filled and together. So that was a really fun find for me. Some other items, I picked up a few things here and there to resell to make my money back, but I'll show you probably the more interesting things or the things that I, I liked finding. Um, this bag, which I don't, I have no idea. I figured this is only a couple cents. I might be able to do something fun with it, but I did pick up, I don't think I got it on camera though. I think one of the other people, like one of the other shoppers actually put these back because they were all in an Easter basket. So they are vintage Disney. They are marked Walt Disney Productions. So there's Donald. Of course you have Pluto. Now their shape is, you know, rather rough. Their paint loss. Poor Mickey, his nose has seen better days. But I thought perhaps I can give them a new life and paint them, um, you know. I don't, unless they're worth a crazy amount of money as is, but I'm not sure. I'll have to do some looking. Goofy's funny. Just to see what they are. They may have sat on, in some kind of toy, but they were all lumped together. So again, I'm guessing some other shopper probably looked them up and figured uh, they're, not, they're not worth anything or they're not worth my time listing and passed on them. So I took them. I did find some cassette tapes, which I was really excited about. The first one that I saw was the Eagles Hotel California. Uh, the Eagles are probably in my top five music groups that I love. I was fortunate enough to see them in concert, oh, I don't know how many years ago now, maybe 10 years ago. And it was the most expensive concert I've ever, I've ever attended. The tickets were over $200 but it was well worth it because I absolutely love the Eagles. And this actually has my favorite Eagles song on here. So this was a fun find. I also found Fleetwood Mac, <laughs> the Rumors tape. Um, you have dreams, go your own, own way. Gold Dust Woman, that's another great song. And the tape is in there. Got that. And then of course, could not leave a Michael Jackson behind. Thriller, the best album that he ever made. And I think Thriller is still on one of the top whatever charts of albums. And it is in there. I mean, it has everything. Beat It, Billie Jean, Pretty Young Thing. Want to be starting something. And of course, Thriller. That's such a great song. And I love the little Thriller movie too. So these were fun finds. Unfortunately, my car does not have a cassette tape player. My old car actually did, my Beetle. So, I don't know. I still like these. I mean, I couldn't pass it on the Eagles. So those were fun. Now, to get to the really neat things. So, there was a photo album. There were a few pages, but then there were just loose ones in there as well. Um, let's see. None of them are identified on the back. You have this woman, I love her hair, very 1920s, 1930s style baby. This one I thought was neat. It's men repairing a fence. Just something simple. I don't want to get a glare. Practical. And let's, hey, let's take a photo of it. Another cute little baby. Oh, there's one of a little baby and a dog. This does say Weston, West Virginia, Ellis Studio. So that gives me an idea of where it came from. So items like this, I know some people stated in one of my other bins videos that the bins are all leftovers from Goodwill. That's not the case. They are mixtures of leftovers and just donations that are just put into the bins. And this proves it because there was no sticker on it for sale, you know, if they would have this at the bit at the Goodwill stores, they probably would have put it up front. But oh, there's like insurance information. Um, these were the pages. So just a few. You know, nothing crazy, but I was just really excited to have found 
photos in the bins. I have to see if any of these are marked on the back. No, they just have numbers. Actually, I lied. This was in there. Snaps. Red notebook. Loose. Natural bridge. Tulips could be Harvey. Oh, so they have the people written out. Group of pictures unknown. Could send to, and they say the family. Um, oh, so the people are, are, their names are on here, which is great for me. It might be a wedding. That's fun. So this will help me kind of identify them as I go through them. My phone's saying I have a little battery. But then I just found some other, well, we found this guy, a whole scrapbook. Colonel Andrew Rowan died at Army Hospital in San Francisco. Um, looks like it's from 1938, maybe. Cuban decoration. Major Rowan is dead at 85. Cuban deed made him hero of Mesas to Garcia. I don't know what that is. Just some papers. A whole bunch of different things. Program notes. So we'll have to look through that. And then in the books... I came across all these loose pages, again, from another scrapbook. So we put this together. Oh, with some of the other heavier items that I purchased, it was around $8 for everything. So not too bad. My book of progress for, for the defense in Melbourne, New Jersey, Patience, Christchurch, Short Hills for Township Victory Needs. Woodrow Wilson School. You have a class picture. Westfield, New Jersey, this says. Specimens of handwriting. Oh, this is fun. Look at that. That's from the 1930s. The southwest wind blows the white clouds across the sky. 1935. <laughs> Christopher Columbus. The Vikings liked to die on their ships. They also wanted to go to Valhalla. <laughs> 1936. That's really fun. Piano playing audition. So this has a whole bunch of different stuff in here. There's some postcards. But again, just bits and pieces from a scrapbook. Stories of long ago. I was really excited. Oh, that's so neat. A boy who wronged himself. The stories in Genesis 25. That's so neat. So I was just really glad to have found this and to be able to save it from the bins. You have old ticket stubs, parking, certificate of promotion. Again, just really great mixture of paper and ephemera. My first time finding something like this at the bins. So we have found vintage holiday, vintage toys, and now we have found ephemera, my favorite. And um, this will be fun to go through see what there is inside, and you know, see, see what I can gather from here, perhaps some of the history of the people, and go from there. So, successful day in the ephemeral world at the bins. Again, fun for me to be able to find these things and be able to, to purchase them. You know, not so successful in the other areas, such as vintage holiday or vintage clothing, but I, I, you can't go wrong with paper, in my eyes at least. So, this was a good day. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the bins. Again, I'm probably going to be trying to get there at least once a week until the weather kind of clears here. So we shall see. Maybe I'll find more ephemera. Maybe I'll find something completely different that just really, you know, inspires me. Some great vintage piece that I didn't know existed and then it just right there in the bin. We'll have to see. So thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you have not subscribed yet, be sure to do so. This way, when I go to the bins next, or if there's maybe a rummage sale coming up, that'd be great. A state sale, that'd be great too. Then you will be in the know and you'll be able to go along with me. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. I'll see you all next time.